We have a revised ribbon interface in AutoCAD 2010. As shown in the What's New videos, you can see that when you hover over the ribbon panels now, they highlight in colour, as do the icons when you hover over them as well. That's just one new feature of the ribbon interface, though. There are many other new features that will allow you to be more productive. Something Lynn Allen of Autodesk talks about a lot when she's doing her presentations at Autodesk University, for example, is screen real estate. Now, it may be that you want the tools on the draw panel available to you, but you don't want to be here on the Home tab. You might want to be on a different tab, for example. One of the new features of AutoCAD 2010 are sticky panels. This allows you to drag a panel, such as the draw panel, out of the ribbon and place it somewhere on the screen and float it like you used to with floating toolbars. Now, as you can see there, I now have a sticky draw panel sitting there in my drawing area allowing me to work with the draw tools but not having to worry about which tab I'm in now on the actual ribbon itself. It's a very very useful tool. The other thing that's very nice as well is see this arrow here? If I click on the arrow there like so it extends out sideways in the direction of the arrow. Can you see that? So it extends out sideways and I can hover over it and pick any of the draw commands I need off of the extended sticky panel. Now, it may be that I don't want them to come out to the side. So what I do here, I hover over the little draw there. As you can see, it highlights just like it would on the ribbon. But can you see this little orientation icon here? Toggle orientation. If I click on that, I can now hover over the arrow, and it floats out to the bottom like that. Again, personal preference, but it does make your life a lot easier. Now, that sticky panel can be put back into the home tab there at any time. It's very easy. All you do is you hover over the panel itself and go to this icon here. See it says return panels to ribbon. If I click there it returns the draw panel to the appropriate place on the home tab on the ribbon like so. I can do that with any panel on the ribbon from any tab. Now the ribbon itself it's great where it is at the top of the screen, but you might want to utilize it in a slightly different way. You can now undock the ribbon as well. Now, for those of you that have used AutoCAD 2008, the next scenario will look very familiar visually to you. I'm just going to go up here, see where the tabs are, Express Tools and Output and so on. If you just move along to the right a little bit, just past the little arrow there, and just right-click on that little top bit of the ribbon, you'll see that a shortcut menu appears. I'm going to undock, like so, and that undocks the ribbon from the top of the screen. Now, does this look familiar to you if you, you've used the dashboard in AutoCAD 2008? Let's just take that ribbon over there a little bit to the left. It looks just like the dashboard does. If I click here, also as well, it extends out, just like it did with the sticky panels. So what I can do now is I can work with my ribbon, but look at all this screen real estate I've got. It's something Lynn Allen from Autodesk likes a lot. I can also click here on the tabs. So you'll see when I click on the tabs now, it's exactly the same as it would be with the ribbon at the top of the screen. But they just stick out to the side. So if I drag it this way, and touch on the edge there, like that, you'll notice that the name ribbon there flips over to the right, depending on which side of the screen I touch. To get it back to the top of the screen is very, very easy. Just click on the title bar there of the ribbon, and drag it upwards. As you can see, it changes shape. When it goes long and rectangular like that, release the mouse button, and it docks back at the top of the screen again, just like it was before. So as you can see, sticky panels and a dockable ribbon now allow you to utilize more screen real estate in AutoCAD 2010.